Hey, Harrison, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I'm good. All right, awesome. We'll get started with questions, and Wookie will have our first question. Dad. Oh, Dr. Des, ball security. Horrible Harry, man of What's the up, year. What's good with you, man? Living the dream. Absolutely. Um, back to the scene of the crime, Big Boy Ball Part Two. Um, what do you think uh, that needs to be done to um, to get the job done out there on uh, Sunday? Um, I mean, things that we've talked about all year. Um, I think physicality will be a big part of it. Uh, turnover margins, winning in the red zone, winning on third downs, making. Um, you know, winning on first, second down to get the third downs in our favor defensively. Um, and then like, like you saw in the first game, taking the ball away. Absolutely, man. And, uh, you know, Coach Frazier has this saying about uh, if it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. What do you think that means? Um, I mean, I think it talks about resiliency. And um, that's what our, our group has been this season. And, uh, yeah, definitely anytime you face adversity, you have to come through it stronger and better for it. And so it's a, that's a good little analogy he uses. Absolutely. Hey, now nah. the Buffalo Bills win if uh, the Buffalo Bills win if uh, we play Buffalo Bills football. No doubt. Good luck this week, Harry. Thank you. Hey, Harrison. Uh, the temperature is supposed. I'm just totally screwing with you. Uh, <laughs> you should have went with it longer. <laughs> <laughs> um, with Mahomes, obviously. Uh, he's another one of these quarterbacks that that is dangerous and has the ability to get out of the pocket. So from an interior uh, lineman perspective, what, what is the balance there in pushing in, but not giving him uh, the lanes to escape? Yeah, one of the things that um, offensive lines are kind of taught and coached when they have more, more mobile quarterbacks is being able to grab and, and hold in a legal way, you know, getting up on the shoulder pads and um, it doesn't always necessarily matter if they're getting walked back as long as you can't separate from them. Um, so getting, getting offensive lines hands off is at a, a, a very important um, part of our rush this week. Um, just because again, you could be nine yards in the backfield, but if they got a hold and you can't get off, Mahomes will find spaces to step up and, and escape. So um, that's something that we've emphasized. And I asked Tremaine and some other guys this week, just it's the fourth time you faced him now in two seasons. Brian Dable even was like, it's almost like a division opponent, how, how frequently you guys have played. So how do you juggle the familiarity of seeing them so many times with not maybe falling into the trap of relying on maybe things you have seen in the past and, and almost staying in the moment? Yeah, I mean, I think that you see it so many times in divisional games or in, in these situations, just like us with the Patriots. Um, this season, you're so much different than what film shows and the evolution of a season and the evolution of a, in my case, looking at an offense and how they, they break down and how they um, can attack defenses different ways. And so they'll have their game plan and we'll figure it out as the first quarter comes. Obviously, we got to prepare for um, things we've seen over the past three games from the very first meeting that they came to our house, ran the ball for 200 some yards. I think it was that rainy night. And then um, obviously aired out some of these other times. So um that is uh, something that, that we'll uh, be ready for as the game kind of comes through. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Yep. Hey, Boyko. Boyko, this other one's coming on, too. Hey, Harrison. Good to see you. How you doing? What's up, man? Good. What's one character trait off the field about Josh that just makes you appreciate playing with him? Um, I think it's generosity. I think how um, much he values, like, friendship and, and being one of the boys and one of the guys. And so um, – you know, even from our, our rookie year here when, you know, we, we took a liking to each other right away, day one, went, you know, went out to eat together that first weekend after OTAs. Um, you know, he would never let me pick up the bill or, or anything like that. And then how generous she is with his home and letting us come over pizza and wings or watching the games, uh, uh, whatever it is. And then what he does with obviously Oshai, um, I would say his generosity is, is a, an important piece too. Awesome. Thank you. Good luck this weekend. Hey, Harrison. Um, first of all, congrats on the fan vote for um, the Playmakers organization and, um, yeah. you know, getting some but some funds for that. Is it too early? Do you know what you're going to use that for yet? Or um, Well, so I did a, a big event last night, actually. Um, I, I brought like 100 kids or so to Walmart and let them pick out whatever they wanted, kind of shopping spree on me. Um, and so, you know, some of those those funds, you know, help 
the spur of the moment make that happen. It was a really short thing. I think I gave it like a two or three day head notice, but we knew we were going to get some some kids to show up when they they knew you could go pick out some some cool stuff. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I'm also going to be doing a sports camp here in the off season in uh, Eastern Hills Mall. They have an indoor baseball field area. And I normally do a kickball tournament in, in sometime in March. So uh, probably help with cover the cost of some of that. Awesome. Love a good kickball tournament. Yeah. Um, and then I wanted to follow up on kind of what you were talking to John about of just, you know, the first quarter adjustments for Kansas City. Obviously, any game is going to have a lot of adjustments, but is it any different with a team like the Chiefs where, you know, how dynamic their offense is? Like, is that timeline of in-game adjustments any different, if that makes sense? Um, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't think so as much. Um, because they do have obviously complexity in a, in a, a, a depth of play calls, you know, I guess they, it, it also depends on how far, what our offense does. If our offense has six minute drives, seven minute drives, we might only see seven plays in the first quarter. So obviously we can't adjust uh, off of, off of a few drives. Um, but if, if they get it, if, you know, the chiefs build a, a couple longer drives, we get to see what way they're attacking us. Um, we should be able to make the adjustments in normal time. Awesome. Thank you. Yep. Hey, Harrison. Um, I was curious for you, what are kind of the emotions of playing in a game like this? Like, what does Sunday look like for you? Like, do you, do you feel like the pressure or just in these big game kind of moments? Um, I, I don't like to try to say that I'm anxious um, or feel pressure. I think it's a, a championship mindset to feel excitement. You know, I th you know how you word it to yourself and your own mental approach. So I'm extremely excited for these games and these opportunities, things that I've worked for my entire life. Since I, you know, my earliest memories were to put myself in position to do these things. There's a little extra excitement this year uh, when we get to play in Kansas City, uh, when I get to play in Kansas City, because um, it's like a home game for me, closest NFL stadium to where I'm from, uh, Omaha, Nebraska. So I have a, a good amount of guys and family coming to the game, which always makes it uh, a little bit more exciting. But um, yeah, I, it makes it tough playing night games because you have all that excitement throughout the whole day. Um, but it, it's awesome to be prime time. Uh, it's going to be very exciting. About how many people do you have coming to this one? Um, well, people I know that will be there are in the, the, a big number. I'd say there'd probably be at least 20 to 30. Um, I didn't buy everybody tickets, <laughs> but uh, I, uh, I, I got a good crew. That's awesome. And then one other thing I was curious about um, related to that is, for you, when does it start to feel like, does it, is it when you start playing or like, can you kind of like not let those emotions and like all of that affect you? Like, how does that work for you? Um, I, I, I kind of get some of those uh, stomach butterflies and stuff like that as early as the Saturday walkthrough, just as your final, you know, hey, the, the next time I'm doing something, it's doing the game. Um, and so I, I get some of those feelings and then getting on the plane or getting to the team hotel I watch my little film I watch the night before I have my, my good routine. Um, and then kind of that next day, you're just like lying to yourself saying like, oh, no, it's not. Yeah, you're fine. Like, uh, don't worry. Don't think about it. But really on the inside, you're just a kid in a candy shop just getting ready to, to go. Awesome. Thank you. That's all for today. Thank you, Harrison.